Hello and welcome back to part 1 of my Godot tiles tutorial. In this video I will set up the project for mobile use, create an empty level and build a clickable tile. In the project settings I first set the window dimensions to full HD portrait and update the test window size so that it matches that aspect ratio. I set the handheld orientation to portrait, the stretch mode to 2D and the stretch aspect to keep width. With these settings the viewport should fit itself into the mobile screen. Then under input devices pointing I activate emulate touch from mouse so that I can work with mouse events inside the code. Next I create a new 2D scene, change the name to level and add a new node to d node as a child that will act as the tiles container. Then I save the scene. Next I create a new GD script for the level node. Define a variable for the image that we want to give the level. And assign it the default icon.png image that gets generated with each new Godot project. For the tile itself I create a new 2D scene but this time I use an area 2D node as the main node type. This node allows us to catch mouse clicks and process them further. To make this work I need a collision shape 2D node and assign it a new rectangle shape 2D. Then I add a sprite node so that the tile can get an image. Just like in the level scene I add a GD script to the tile root node. Then I connect the input event signal with the tile script. Inside the callback I can check if the left mouse button has been clicked. And if that's the case I print tile clicked to the console for now. Later we will create our own signal that the level listens to so that it can check if the tile that we have clicked is allowed to move. To debug the tile I use the default Godot image again. Later the level will assign the image to the tile. I also need to set the collider size, move the tile to the center of the viewport and increase the scale so that we can click on it. Just like the sprite image the level will take care of it in the future. As you can see the click works and now I can undo all of the changes that I've made to the tile. Like I've said it's the level's job to take care of all the tiles. In the next video I will implement the spawning of the tiles and take care that the image scales to the viewport size. Thanks for watching, until then, bye.